welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to film a requested video for you guys. I have lots of questions, especially when I th show my thrift hauls, to talk to you guys about how I resell things that I buy from, from the thrift stores. And so I am going to share sort of basically how I do that, why I do that, and those sort of things. So let's just jump right in. So first off, I just want to start by saying I'm not an expert. I do this just for fun. I'm not out to make like a major profit. I always tell myself I'm just in it to sort of fund my thrifting habit. I love to thrift, I love to save money, um, but you know, when you thrift, you're still spending money. So it's not free, but the way I do it, I sort of make it free. First of all, people always ask me, uh, where do I resell my things? And I, for the most part, I resell it on Facebook. So I am part of a couple of buy, sell, trade pages on Facebook, mom specific ones. And so I am part of this really, really great one where there are a lot of like-minded mummies and we all like the same sort of stuff. And so I know what I am looking for when I try and resell things. So I know what will sell well. My first tip or a word of advice would be to sort of know your market, know what's going to sell well, because buying something thinking it may sell uh, and it doesn't, you sort of run into trouble where you're spending money and you're not getting any of it back. So I know now that I've been doing it for a little while, I know what people want. The type of things that people want First of all, I know that I'm selling kids items only. I don't go out and buy, um, you know, brand name women's clothing or brand name anything for the most part uh, to resell. I mostly sell kids clothes because I've got a target audience. I'm part of this group. People love what I post on this group and so it's usually snatched up right away. And so what sells really well in that group is uh, toys, like wooden toys, good quality wooden toys. Um, open-ended toys, non-battery toys, that sort of thing. That sells well because those can actually cost a lot brand new. And so even if I find something for uh, you know three dollars and sell it for ten dollars, let's say that person is spending ten dollars, but that item might be fifty dollars new. So they are still getting a savings by buying it off of me. And that brings me to another point. Like I don't really mark up my prices that much because I like a good deal and I like when other people are able to get a good deal so I still like I said this isn't a money-making business for me so um, if that's what you're after the advice I'm not gonna be able to give it to you I like to give people another good deal so anyhow also practical kids items like um, snow pants jackets snow suits um, swim stuff like UV swim suits like the full-on UV skin suits hats mitts scarves like and good quality ones there are a couple brands like mountain equipment co-op Columbia that sort of stuff that sells well as well as um, nursing shirts sell really well so if I ever see like a boob brand nursing shirt I will buy it snap it up at a good price of course I will snap it up and then resell it so and then what I do for kids clothing is if I find a high quality shirt for a dollar, let's say, I will snap it up, put it in a lot. What I usually like to do is sell clothing in lots. So I'll have sort of a zero to three month boy lot going on. Sometimes I'll, I won't gender them because I think that's crazy, but sometimes you'll find that they sell better if they are all same gender. But anyhow, that's just sort of a personal preference. It's just easier to sell things in lots for kids clothing specifically. And it's also important to sell them in season. If it's the dead of winter and I find like some summer clothes, I'll probably keep it aside until sort of spring, until the weather is just sort of changing and then I'll put it online and sell it then because it'll probably be snapped up quicker. Another tip is when you're looking to sell things, take really good quality pictures. People love to see things presented in a nice way, so make sure they are washed, no stains, um, ironed if need be, uh, and then hang items to take your pictures because, you know, so I'll, I will, you know, if I'm in a rush, I'll throw things on the ground, snap a pic and sell it, but things do sell quicker when they are presented nicely. You can take the time and make sure your pictures are really nice. When I am in the store, after I've sort of found an item that I think will sell well, I will look over it like crazy. I don't want any stains. I don't want any little holes. I will look to see if um, sometimes thrift stores will put the little tag in an awkward place and sort of through the clothing and if it's a thin piece of clothing and I think when I take the tag off it's gonna leave a, a big hole I won't buy that item usually I like when the tags are through other tags like through the branding tag or something like that 
then I know it's not gonna harm the item when I take it off. That's just a personal preference. I've run into that in the past where I take something off, sometimes through cotton clothing, once you throw it through the wash, like the fibers will realign, but sometimes not. Sometimes it's cut through a fiber and then you've left with a hole in the shirt. So try and keep an eye on that. I also only buy items if they are a really good deal. Mostly I try and find things for like a dollar or two, sort of my general rule of thumb. So those are sort of the things that I look for when I'm reselling things. If you have any more questions, let me know. I can answer questions in the comments below. Um, but I, I haven't ventured into the eBay world. I haven't ventured into selling sort of adult clothing or anything like that. It's mostly just kids because it's easy for me to sell, resell kids clothing because I am part of this mom's group on Facebook where I know things will sell. Like I have a lot of clients where I'll put something online and they're like, yeah, I want that. I want that. I want that. Um, and then once they bought it, they say, hey, just so you know, like I have a son just a little bit younger than your son. So next time around when your son outgrows his things, pass them on to me, you know? So I sort of have those clients where I know if I find something in a certain size that they're gonna want to buy it. Um, it's not guaranteed, but someone else may snap it up first or whatever, but I do have sort of people that I sell specifically to. So that works well for me because I've been doing it since Jude was basically, you know, born and outgrowing his clothes. So anyhow, those are sort of how I resell clothes online. I resell kids clothes mostly and women's like nursing shirts, maternity shirts. So I've got my little niche and I stick to it and that's how I know that I'm going to be able to sell. But I should mention that the reason I only buy things if they are really, really, really good deal is because you have to be able to be prepared to spend some money and then not really recoup that back. So, you know, it's not fail proof. You may find an item that you think is really cool and then you go to sell it and no one buys it. Um, you know, that, that happens too, but more often than not, I come out ahead. Anyhow, sorry if this was rambly. I hope I got my points across. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to my channel but want to see more videos from me, you might as well hit the red subscribe button below. And we will see you guys in the next one.